Winbox, run, hit the three little dot button thing, choose the MAC address, click on connect. It comes up with a table that says the following default configuration has been installed in your router. So I'll choose OK. And I'm going to go system clock and set the clock. And the date as well. time zone. Okay, and we're back. Alright, so I've rebooted the router and I've set the clock. Okay, you can give it a name. Um, I guess we can make this one the base station. So I'm going to go system identity and I'm going to call it base station. Right. Okay, now proceed. All right, now, so go into IP okay. and go into DHCP server, and there may be an entry in there. In name default interface ether one local relay blank least time something address pool default right. DHCP. Click on it and then click the minus to remove it. Clicked on it, clicked minus to remove it. Okay, and then close that window. So I removed the entry. And then go IP DHCP client. Okay. Default configuration is there, and then below it is WLAN 1 gateway. Yes, yes, searching. Okay, so you can stop that one as well, or hit X, disable. Oh, which, there, there's two, oh yeah, I clicked on the bottom one, but both of them lit up. So I should... Yeah, it's one entry. So X, disable. Uh, close that. Uh, next, go to IP and click on addresses. Um, and I don't know what you'll have in here. I've got default configuration 192.168.88.1 slash something. Interface is Ether One Local. Okay. Uh, okay, so okay on that. Hang on, I. Go back and that. Oh. One moment, please. Okay, under network, you want 192.168.1.0. Yeah, so. All right. And leave interface is Ether One Local. All right. So, uh, go to wireless and make sure that it's enabled. It is. Okay, what's the name? Uh, double click on wireless and the name is WLAN1-Gateway. Cool. All right, next, let's go to bridge. Now, hang on. Did, did you want me to go to the wireless tab where it's got the SSID? All right, okay. I want you to click on bridge. Bridge. Bridge is em here. empty. Oh, okay, so click the plus. Yeah. And I, pick interface of uh, Ether One Local. I don't see, I, I, I don't see interface. I got general STP status and traffic. Name bridge one type bridge MTU 1500 L2 MTU. Is there an OK button? There is. Okay, you hit OK. I did. And now what you see below? Now an entry appears with an R to the left of it, and then simple, simple bridge one type bridge. Okay. Um, let me just check my settings, make sure there's nothing weird. Might as well go through. So don't click on it again. Don't 
Go ahead. Um, on the S, well, let me just go, I'll read you my settings and you can tell me if anything sounds different. Uh, MTU is 1500, L2 MTU is 1600, but grayed out, and ARP is set to enable. Okay, my L2, my LT MTU is 65535. And uh, click on the STP tab. I, if I click on my LT, L2MTU, it turns blue like I think I could edit it. Oh, okay. Well, change it then to 1600. Mine is not editable, but that could be something we change later. Oh, you know, crap. To that. Hang on. It went, as, as, as soon as I went to type, oh, yeah, the, the, name, the name was also in blue. Okay, so you want L2MTU to be 1600? Oh, yeah. shoot. Well, as soon as I go to type, it's changing the name rather than the L2MTU. Okay, so, well then let's just leave that. Uh, go into the STP tab. Oh, back in there. Okay, back into bridge STP tab. Okay. Yeah. Protocol mode is RSTP. Mine was set to none. I'll change yeah, it. Yeah. And then I don't know, I never changed any of their settings. Well, just read them. Um, uh, uh, have you got max message age 20, forward delay 15, transmit hold count 6, aging time 500? Yeah. All right. And then on status, um, I see that won't match yours just yet, and you can just hit OK now. Uh, Ports where? On yeah. the bridge. Ah, thing. okay, all right. I was leaving it totally. Okay, I'm back on bridge. Oh, I see. Ports there. Okay, so bridge ports is blank. They're empty. Okay, so hit the plus. Yeah. Choose the interface Ether Local 1. I, I've got an Ether 1 dash local. And that's the only, op well, th there's an option of WLAN 1 gateway. So I'll leave it as Ether 1 local. Add Ether 1 dash local. Yeah. Um, priority 80, pass cost 10. Everything else is set to auto and hit OK. Yeah, that, I didn't have to change anything. Okay, hit plus again. Now select the WLAN 1 gateway and leave everything else as the default as well. Okay, done. Done. Hit OK. You'll probably get disconnected at this point, or it'll happen pretty quickly. Um, so what you can do now, I suppose, is just click Exit on the left, and then restart the client, and hopefully it'll show the IP address, which you can connect to. Hopefully, I say, because this is where we got burned many times working with this thing. I'm in, no problem. Okay, doke. So at this point, let's save this config because this is part of the battle. Um, it's too bad, or, or I guess I can, yeah, I, I can copy these files from here onto my computer and then give them different names. Like, cause I, I guess you can't rename these things in this file list. Uh, you probably can. I just don't know how. <laughs> well, let me try. If I right click, no, it doesn't let me. So, how did you copy the file from this? Uh, no, you just click copy, and then you copy it into your like into Windows, and you just paste it on your desktop. Oh, uh, okay.